Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this adorable Valentine's treat box using a Laurie Whitlock SVG and some of my Lawn Fawn stamps. First up, I'm going to be using my Cricut Maker to cut out my SVG from some patterned and plain cardstock. Here are all the pieces after they have been cut out. I've got my box top or lid, the base, a decorative piece for the top and three pieces here that are going to be holding the treats. They're kind of like little paper liners for the box. Like all of Laurie Whitlock's SVGs, this one is super easy to assemble and I'm going to be folding all the tabs, gluing what needs to be glued, holding it until it's dried, and just getting all of this assembled and done before moving on to the stamps to decorate it. Unfortunately, I have run out of acetate, so today I'm upcycling some stamp or die packaging for my clear window of this box. I don't think it worked quite as well as acetate would. I did use some liquid glue, I probably should have used something else to stick it in, but it did the job. So now that my box is assembled, I'm going to move on to stamping. Today I'm using my Scent with Love stamps by Lawn Fawn and some images from the matching add on stamp set. While I'm getting my stamping done for my colouring in images, I'm also going to stamp out my sentiment. I'm using some black cardstock and stamping Happy Valentine's Day with my embossing ink and using some white embossing powder. For a little more decoration on the top of my box, I'm adding some die cut hearts. I'm using the smallest of my stitched heart dies and the smallest lacy heart die. I'm layering these and adhering them to the acetate. Now on to colouring. As always, I'm using a mix of Copic markers and alcohol markers and doing some very simple blending before adding my white highlights at the end. It's now time to stick all of my stamp pieces onto the front to decorate this box. On the back of my skunks I've used some foam squares for a bit more dimension. If you follow me on Instagram you may have seen this part already, we're at the very last step of this project, I nearly ruin it by dropping wet glue onto my acetate. If you've ever done that before you've probably experienced how hard it is to completely wipe liquid glue from acetate. It just always smudges it and leaves a weird frosty mark on it. Luck was on my side today and everything managed to turn out fine. Now that all of these pieces are glued on, this project is complete. I hope you love it, it's such a cute little box for tiny gifts or treats for Valentine's Day. If you enjoyed this project, I hope you'll consider subscribing to stick around to see what I make next. Thank you so much for watching, bye for now.